you know, I want to check out the uh, the intro real quick. Okay, so we're playing Final Fight today. Now, this is a game that I recall as being one of the launch titles on the Super Nintendo. Think, I think so. Yeah, and at that time, I was really impressed, and I was like, this is awesome. I got this arcade action in the home, and it was really not the best port for Super Nintendo, looking back. I mean, for one thing, it was only one player. Um, well, there's two characters, but one player at a time. And uh, it was a little clunky, a little bit too difficult. I think when you get to the second boss, it, it gets really, really hard. And I never made it very far, yet it was a game I played a lot. And now I feel like this is going to be really interesting to play the arcade version here, playing it online in the Capcom beat-em-up bundle. Yeah, Mike and I are going to go through it, and this will bring some closure. I may finally see the end of Final Fight. Yeah, we'll be able to put in quarters. Oh, it says free play right there. So, all right, let's get this going. Now, James and I have done Final Fight uh, 2 before, the Super Nintendo game. But, yeah, this is the, this is the arcade version. And, uh, of course, there's Guy, Cody, and Hagar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be Guy, I think. I'm going to be Guy. I think. I, or I'm gonna be Hagar. Or maybe we should save Final it... Fight. Maybe we should, we should save Guy for uh, if we ever do Final Fight Guy for... Yeah, because isn't it like they, they re-released it on Super Nintendo, but added Guy back into it? From what I know, I, I think it was a Blockbuster exclusive um, oh, okay. version of it. Uh, so it was it's it's rare, or it's very rare to get it on like Super Nintendo. Burger, chicken. Oh, oh we can hit each other? Well, let's, let's see. Oh, that sucks. I guess that's how the arcade was, though. Well, uh, we'll, we'll try to stay away from each other, I guess. This was really one of the first major beat-em-ups that uh, I remember. I mean, there was Double Dragon, but that was kind of like an early sort of proto beat-em-up game. I, that's, or that's how I considered it. Uh, I loved Double Dragon. And then Final Fight was like the next level. That was like the next one. So at the time, this really blew my mind. Yeah, so I owned this game uh, as a kid on Super Nintendo, and I, I loved it. I, I played it a lot, actually. I guess it was one of the first Capcom beat-em-ups that, that I played or whatever. I remember as a kid uh, playing it a lot. I'd play it with friends, and at some point, I remember getting very far in it, but I didn't... I remember, there, there was a guy that you fight who has like uh, who's like in a, in, in a ring with swords. That's the part. Like That's like the second uh, boss, and he's just like impossible. Nah, I, I, I was able to get by it, actually. I got almost near the end of the game uh, as, as a kid, but I never I never did beat this game. Um, this game's really hard, like, on Super Nintendo. It's very it difficult. It is, yeah. Yeah, I still have not, not beaten it to this day. So the second game, Final Fight 2, I never played that in the arcade or anything, but you and I played it, and that, that game was good. But this is the one that's, like, that I'm nostalgic for. Me too, yeah. And, but it was cool with Final Fight 2 because it was two-player, so it's like, okay, well, that's what you want for a beat-em-up. It really sucks that the Super Nintendo game, like the first one, didn't have two-player because it's a beat-em-up. Yeah. That's the best thing about the beat-em-ups is playing it with Exactly, friend. yeah. Even though I played games with friends as a kid, a lot of times I was playing them alone by myself, so it didn't really matter. I was playing them mostly like it would be like you know, at night before you go to bed or something like that. So like sometimes like after school, I'd play with some friends for a little bit, but then, you know, then you'd have dinner and then you might play a little more before bedtime and that was it, you know. I remember one time I, I rented Final Fight. I remember I like woke up in the middle of the night one time and couldn't sleep and I played, I played Final Fight. <laughs> it was awesome. There's Andre the Giant. You know, I never really got too much uh, into wrestling. Did you ever you watch any of the old, like the old wrestling stuff from like early like Hulk, Hulk Mania? Any of that? It's like hilarious. Yeah, I know. I, I wish I watched more of it because it's like really entertaining. Yeah, like wrestling. Like for me, it was like something where like I just I don't know. I never had the time to get into it, but I always I always kind of had you know an appeal for it, but I never you know just took the time to watch it. You know. Right, because I, I mean, I'm not really into sports, so I, like, I'm not into it for that reason. But like, just the like the scenarios that the, yeah. that the wrestlers put each other into, and the and the acting that they do is so 
like funny and entertaining yeah. that it's like it's totally <laughs> worth like watching. There was a thing with um, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Basically, like you know, they're gonna wrestle each other, but um, I, I forget the exact story. But something to do with their contracts or whatever. And there's a scene where they are sitting at a table. And neither one of them are saying anything. It's just the manager going going on and on about how they're gonna like fight and like all the, all the all this stuff. And they're, and they're just staring at each other. And the camera just keeps cutting back and forth to their faces, like looking uh -huh. at each other. And you just it's just something you have to watch because their faces. He's like Hulk Hogan's like sweating and like like palpitating and like because they're so angry because they're just like you know um, and they don't even have to say anything they're just like staring yeah. at each other it's it's amazing it's amazing acting it's really funny yeah it's like amazing comedic acting is what it is and I didn't see it like that when I was a kid I didn't realize. Because I thought it was just, I took it more seriously. Like, I was like, okay, this is a sport, and these guys are wrestling or whatever. And I knew it was, like, a story kind of thing. Like, I knew they put it on a little bit, but I didn't really, I didn't see it the way I see it now. I'm like, oh, I get why people like this. I always found it weird that, the, like, as a kid, I was like, why are they wearing underwear? Why, why are they... <laughs> Why are they fighting with long hair? Because it, like, why don't you cut your hair? Because like anybody could pull your hair when you're, which they do, you know. So it's yeah. like, you know, it, it just doesn't seem like a good choice to have long hair if you're gonna fight somebody. But, you know, but the fact that we're even talking about wrestling was because the the character's name was Andre. Does that have anything to do with the wrestler Andre, or was it just? I think that the Andor, whatever the character's name in in this game in Final Fight. I think that oh, he's supposed to be a parody of uh, oh, Andre okay. the Giant. Andor, it was Andor, not Andre. Yeah, they changed the name like slightly just to kind of get away with it. See, this is the part in the Superintendent one that I think I, I beat him maybe once or twice, but then I'd die on the next level because I'd only have like one life left. Well, I mean, that's it's the like... thing about this. Even the in the arcade, it's kind of like, let's say you only had two quarters in your pocket. You have to stretch those quarters out as far as you could make it, you know? So it's yeah. really, you know, playing these games just on free play, it's like, it's cool to be able to see the entire game, but it's not really what they were... Well, I mean, at the same time, I'm sure they would love for you to pop as many quarters into the machine as possible, but <laughs> I think it was, it's more like, you know, try to see how far you can get on one quarter is the challenge of the arcade games. Yeah, on the Super Nintendo one, what would always happen to me is pretty much the same thing that's happening now is that I I managed to get the sword off him, but he always does that charge, and whenever he does that charge, he he hits me like every time. Even like sometimes I try to get like at an angle to get away from the charge. See, like just there, that perfect example. It was like I never know how to get out of the way of that charge. Ugh, I'm trying to hit him, and I keep hitting you. Yeah, it's, that sucks. Ooh, yeah! Isn't it funny how sometimes in, like, on NES games, there's, like, mode A and mode B, where it's, like, you can you can hit the other person or you cannot hit the other person? I don't think I've ever figured it out. Can you tell me, at, when do you want to play one of these games when you can hit the other person? Like, why would you want to do that? Never. It, it's just annoying. It, it's not. Uh, I mean, in, it makes it more realistic, I guess. If, if you're fighting with another person, you could still hit them. If, if your your fist isn't going to go through them. So like Captain but, Commando, which has like a baby in a mech suit. It's like we're really worried about realism of like hitting each other. Exactly. It's like it's a game, so you shouldn't be able to hit the other player. It just oh makes it cheap. Yeah, th this game this game is really good. But um, I always said that my favorite. Capcom uh, beat him up was Dungeons and Dragons Shadow over Mastara. Now I know we did the video and I, I talked a lot about that, but just very briefly, the, the reason why I always pick that one is because it has that um, sort of item wheel that, that pops up to where you get all kinds of different magic attacks and different stuff. Imagine right now if we were playing this game and you could bring up a, a sort of menu as you're playing, which has like, you know, nine other things that you can do. I think that makes it so much more interesting because as you go through the game, like there's like, you know, imagine if you could just bring up like different weapons and like different things that, that you're able to do. And, and that game does that. And, and so it's not really so much about the theme. Like I love the theme of this game. For that, my reason is more about the gameplay. I, I just feel like they give you more to do in, in that. You know what? Uh... 
Let's see, I have to wait for an example, but you know another thing I love about these fighting games is when you punch multiple people at the same time. Like, yeah, like, like, that. like right there, I'm hitting two guys at the same time. I, I love it when it's like a cluster. It's like five guys all together and you're just hitting them all at the same time with the same fist. Like, how does that work? <laughs> Because he's a badass. <laughs> no, I know that. It's it's like the yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh shit. Oh yeah. So this game has like funny names. Like this guy's name is Doug. Dig Doug. Ondor Junior. Oh yeah. There's Ondor and there's Ondor Junior. And that's weird too that it's Ondor because like that's not, I don't even think that's a real name. I mean maybe it is, but like yeah. It's it's kind of like they were like, well, we want to name him Andre, and somebody was like Andore maybe. I don't know. And somebody was like, well, we can't do that. We will we'll get sued. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this about? Oh, Hagar looked really concerned there. <laughs> he just was, like, casually following. Oh, my God. I'm getting wow. fucked up. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, I just did the thing, the three at once. Shit. Well, if we get the weapons... Oh, yeah, I can't even pick anything up. Me neither. Like, yeah, imagine... The, anybody who can beat this on one quarter, like, they deserve a fucking trophy. <laughs> like, a Nobel yeah. Prize or something, because, like, look at this shit. I wonder what the trick would be, too. Like, what's the strategy? Like, how do you avoid getting hit? Yeah, how do you long? get good at it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can understand, like, a game like Gradius, how you get good at it. You, know, you gotta memorize the levels and, like, and, and you know... Just good hand-eye well, coordination, you know what? but... What? Nah, I saved you. Oh, oh fuck. I saved you, you know, and then you kicked me in the face! Yeah, and exactly. then you stabbed oh, me in the back! You. Oh, dude, I stabbed you. I literally stabbed you in the back. Alright, well, that's the last time I'm saving you. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like, right, this part here, there's just, like, nothing you can do. Fucking... That was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Hey, James. <laughs> <laughs> if you did that to somebody in the arcade, they'd be so pissed because you're then you're wasting their money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Is it, they shouldn't make that an option. Was that guy like have like a radiation vest on? <laughs> yeah, I always thought that guy was weird. A radiation vest. <laughs> it's like you got your arms exposed, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh yeah, you know what? I do remember some of this game. I don't know. I maybe I did make it to this guy because I re, I remember, or maybe he's in the second one too. But I remember the police officer and always thinking like, how is the police officer uh, a bad guy? So I'm guessing is he like a a criminal who got a police officer's uniform or something? He's getting he's getting paid off by shady like shady government. Oh, people. He, he's like a crooked police. He's officer. He's a crooked police officer, dude. Oh. I like I like how he, I like how he walks around too. Like, look at his walk cycle when he when he walks. It's really funny. I mean, if you have a gun, there, there. You're, oh, I see. Yeah, like like walks with his hands on his hips. Yeah, it's just a funny yeah. swagger. So now we're in like a some kind of factory. Okay, that flame animation is in like all the Capcom games. Exactly. Yeah. This is the quarter eating like part. It's like, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is where you're just like, fuck this. Mom, do you got any more quarters in your pocket? <laughs> they used to have the machine, and then you'd fill up like a bucket with the quarters at the arcade. Or you'd go, you'd go to the uh, the guy in the back, and then you'd like, it'd be like the guy that works at the arcade. Yeah, I, I never had that many quarters in the arcade. It was always like, maybe I like had a dollar or something. Maybe at the most, like five bucks. But five bucks was, was like a lot. Yeah. You know? So... I never really played arcade games for very long, so that's why I was always a home console guy. Yeah, I was, I was lucky. We had, we had a couple arcades by us, so I, I was able to do that. Oh god, am I done? Yeah, they're fucking us up now. Oh wow! Wait, no. Oh, look no, at that! No, no, it's gonna let me back. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you do a yeah. great impression of that. Yeah! Oh, by the way, have you been using, like, your strong move that takes your energy away? Yeah, you know, whenever there's a lot of people, I'll just, like, you know, fuck it like that. Just use it, because you're going to get hit anyway, and, and and it's quarter, so you're fine. You know, it's going to keep going. That's the thing. There's no way we can lose. Yeah. This is mostly about James just wants to see the end of the game <laughs> at this point. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is just for fun. We're not taking anything serious. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> now I can't stop doing. Oh, that was like the that Colossus scream that everybody at Magfest used to do all the time. I think they still do. How about do the 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 Hagar scream for once? Instead of the Colossus scream. Yeah, just do the Hagar scream for a change. Here, here. What's the Colossus? Do the Colossus scream. Can you do that? Oh, I don't. I don't even remember how. I, I I've tried to forget about it. <laughs> Isn't it like the same thing? What's the difference? It's similar. It's like I think it's like oh or something like that. So wait and hang. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Is it like that? <laughs> they probably are like the same thing, basically. And then now do the Hagar one. It is, it's a little different. I didn't know you're so good at doing that fucking Hagar straight. It almost sounds like it's coming out of the video game. Yeah. Oh shit. This guy's like Nightcrawler in the X-Men arcade game because he's got that like warp. Oh, uh, that like trailing thing, yeah. Was that a Capcom or Konami game, X-Men? Uh, that's Konami, I believe. Otherwise it should be, on this, uh, it should be on this collection if it wasn't. Yeah, and uh, Simpsons was Konami, right? Yeah. Doesn't that suck? Like, shouldn't there have been a Super Nintendo version of Simpsons and X-Men? Yeah, it was probably like licensing or something for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, like what What the hell? Those would have been two of the biggest games on the system if they would have done that. Yeah. And, and, and the fact that they weren't even on any system. Imagine if they had Simpsons on like CDI or 3, yeah. 3DO. <laughs> <laughs> What do you well, think's worse? What been do you think's good. worse? I mean, CD. Oh wait, you think? What about 3DO? Say that. Well, I mean, Simpsons arcade on 3DO would have been fine because it would have it would have looked just like the arcade at least. Right. Like Street Fighter, like, 3DO has the best version of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but with one problem, which is a fatal flaw: the controller. It's they don't have the six buttons. Right. And even if you get a six button 3DO controller, like a third party thing, like. It doesn't. The, the buttons aren't configured the way you want them to be. Like one of the the kick buttons is the pause button, and and there's no way you're gonna play it without accidentally hitting the pause button over and over again. Like graphics and sound, it's it's just like the arcade, as as far as I know. But the controller is all messed up. How about just plug and play the arcade game then? Well, you need to get an arcade then. <laughs> no, you, you just get a fucking like uh, pie or get a fucking Raspberry Pi. What what's a raspberry pie? And then there's you know different like software and whatever just to run it. Like I could huh. get, I could get you one. It's a very it's a very popular thing. It's been around for a while, and I know wow. it's like a funny a funny name, right? Like raspberry. Yeah, pie. I'm like raspberry pie. What? <laughs> yeah. So, you have to show me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have it to where. Uh, I can play it on my on my PVM and stuff, and it, it's cool. Oh, I need that. Ugh. Did you think for a second I actually meant like a real pie? Uh, I didn't know. I mean, I assume you meant a, some kind of console, but I'm just like, wait, Raspberry Pi? I'm like, I'm like, that's what it's called. So there's something I bet they changed on the Super Nintendo version. Sexy. Sexy. Yeah. It just says sexy. Like, what's the point? What's it mean? What, there was that thing you fucking said like recently, something about the cat, the cat's piss slit or something. What did you say about the cat? Oh, was it? Wait, was it um, some cat, cat's pussy slit or something? Oh, are you are you talking about a long time ago? Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, cat's pussy piss slit. Yeah. <laughs> but what was the cat's pussy piss slit from? What what video was it from? Yes. I don't know. It might not even made it into a video. You don't remember what the pussy piss slit is from? <laughs> I, I feel like it was a quote. Like, I'd rather lick my cat's pussy piss slit. I, I mean, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds almost a little bit too rough for me, but... Um, I mean, I think I've said worse. What are you trying to say? That I'd be perfectly okay with talking about a cat's pussy piss slit, but you won't? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
You're like uh, for me. I mean, for, I me it's, say, for me, it's a little much, oh, Mike. But for you, I can tell that you're 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 a pussy pistolet yeah. guy. Thank, I mean, I, thanks I do a lot. Remember. You're like you're like oh, Mike. I got my limits. I want to cut yeah, to a, limits, cut to yeah. a fucking clip now of all the shit that you said. Exploding bloody diarrhea. An infinite turd coming out of my ass. Suck farts out of a dog's ass. It's like a, like eating a hot dog, but just like a just dangling piece of shit. Piss a cactus out of my dick. Cock sucking pussy. Gaping flame vagina. It's a vagina. This game is as much fun as a witch's cunt. Bloody cunt. Duck cunt. Can you spell cunt? Fucking Christ of cunt. Fuck. Diarrhea coming out of an old woman's bleeding vagina. Oh, oh I draw my I draw the line at cat's yeah. pussy. Okay. Look at this dog. Look. Look at this dog in the background. Yeah, it's just sitting there, just watching the fight. It's kind of cool the way they did the background, how it's kind of a sunset, but the the water is actually purple, with the yeah. like the way they made it look. It's like it's like when you watch Bob Ross paint a picture. It's like he's not gonna paint the water blue. He's gonna use like purple and fucking orange and shit, and oh, and it's gonna look like an ocean. And you're gonna be like, why yeah. are you making the water purple and orange and green? And then he, when he's done with it, you're like, oh my god, that looks like real life. I remember when you and I watched Bob Ross back like a long long time ago and i ordered yeah. like dvds from like their fucking website and the dvds yeah. were so expensive they, they were like I 70 dollars or 80 dollars for like one or two dvds and it was like wow. i really wanted to see like bob ross so i was like fuck it and i bought it but it was like it was like just a couple episodes now they play them for free on twitch like all day long when you found those dvds i remember that i, I was it blew my mind because i was like holy shit somebody actually found bob ross at that um, time like when that was that was probably like 2005 or something yeah 2006 it was something like, like that it, like next to impossible to see bob ross then yeah like i i didn't even know anybody remembered him at that point like it, it, he kind of like became really obscure for a little while but it, it's cool that now he's popular again yeah well, I mean, you and I used to talk about Bob Ross in college and stuff. Well, we did, yeah, but, like, you didn't hear m most people talking about him. Y you remind me of something else. Like, talking about shows you can't see, y you wouldn't believe this, but Happy Days, it's like, you know, it's a really famous sitcom, but you, you can't find... The only thing that exists... I mean, not that it doesn't exist, it, it does, but it's... The only spot where you could watch it, like if you wanted to watch it right now, it's on CBS All Access. They only have part of season two. That's weird. Like, like just a handful of episodes from season two. And that and show was on it. the air for a really long time. Well, don't they have a Blu-ray or a DVD set or something? They have a DVD set that goes up to season six. So basically they released all the way up to season six and there's, there's 11 seasons on that show. Right. Where are you going to see the rest of them? There, there's some on YouTube. Like if you look on YouTube, some people have uploaded some episodes, but they're, you know, they're not the best quality, which you know is fine. But it's like, you wouldn't you think that you could just stream the whole series of Happy Day somewhere? Did you watch a lot of Happy Days growing up? Because I know you talk about the. Fun. I mean, I watched a little Happy Days here and there. I watched a, I, yeah. all I did growing up was watch fucking television. So I mean, I watched Happy Days. But it seems like you mention Happy Days sometimes. So I guess you used to watch that. Yeah, not a lot. Um, I remember, uh, I think my dad used to watch it a lot, so that's where I saw it. Um, but I, I, the thing is, I, n I never watched enough Happy Days. Like, I, I really only seen very little of the show. And I've, all these years, I kind of felt like, okay, like, like everybody knows Fonzie, but I want to watch the show and actually see, like, what it was all about and everything. And I, and I, I watched what they had on CBS, but there, there's nothing else. And it's really kind of a pain in the ass. So, they used to show it on TV a lot. They even showed it on Me TV a lot till recently, but they don't even show it on that anymore. Yeah. So it's just kind of like it's astonishing that a show as famous as Happy Days you can't find. Like it's fucking bullshit. I've been more in the mood for like classic sitcoms lately. Okay, you want to watch the really good classic sitcom? You go watch All in the Family because that's the best one. Okay. Like seriously, give that yeah. one. A, give that one a shot. Watch. Okay. Watch the first season it, of it, and if you don't like it, give up. But I, that's the best sitcom that like oh, okay. there ever was, at least from back in those I'll, days. I'll look into it to see if they have it on uh, um, streaming anywhere. Oh god, there were so many. Um, Family Ties was really good with Michael J. Fox. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, see, a lot of those shows I've seen a little bit of, but there were so many of them that, oops. <laughs> well, a lot of them are, aren't the, like, a lot of them aren't, like, great. Like, you know, some, some of them are, like, better than the, than others. I'm trying to tell you yeah. the ones that are, like, actually really good. I mean, there's a lot of sick, there's, like, I could be like, oh, watch Small Wonder. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Or something but there's like oh, there's a lot of crappy so many, yeah <laughs> and it's kind of like when you watch sitcoms you can't just watch one you kind of have to like get used to the characters and like you start to get to know them so it's kind of exactly. like you gotta yeah like you have to kind of pick one for just a little bit you have to watch like a good amount and you gotta give it a yeah. chance so I'm, I'm telling you, All in the Family is the one you want to watch. As far as if you're talking about, because I know you like to watch like o like older television and stuff. I wouldn't recommend that to most people because a lot of people seem to like just like 90s stuff and whatever. Like people love um, yeah Mar Married with Children, and I I love Married with Children too. Actually, it's oh, a, it's a good one. Yeah. yeah, it's a good show, but like. Um, I think we're talking more about like older stuff right now, right? Because we're talking about like Happy Days and that era. Yeah. Yeah, like like 70s, 80s, you know, early 80s maybe. Yeah. Or even better, like 60s, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it's like anything from, like, anything before the 90s, really. Yeah. I mean, I like the 90s, too. I, I, I wouldn't mind watching some more, like, Fresh Prince and um, uh, Home Improvement, you know. Right. But... But, you know, I've seen a lot of those, so I'm kind of going back to ones that I haven't really seen that much of. I mean, you and I, we've watched, like, all the, like, we've watched, like, Twilight Zone and Star Trek and all that stuff, so it's kind of like, well, well, what else is there out there, right? That's really good. Yeah. yeah. That, that's smart, really probably the best like... fucking show of all time, though, is fucking the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Like, that's hard to beat. <laughs> it, it really is, too. So, I, you know, uh, I always thought the ending of this was a little... It reminded me a bit of Die Hard, because you're kind of, like, going up in a building, and there's, like, explosions, and it's, like, action and whatever. And you'll see at the end here uh, what happens, why why I get the Die Hard vibe. Because no, I, I just thought it was... Yeah, go ahead. I uh, know you can... It probably doesn't... Yeah, oh, go ahead. <laughs> you, you go. <laughs> oh, okay. I just thought that... I just realized that we both probably have the same screen. Like, we're probably seeing the same thing. But it's still good that we have backup recording. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, this game. Yeah. We, I guess we didn't need it for this game. Get your get your meat. All right, get your meat. Grab your meat. <laughs> Grab your meat. Oh god. Oh wow. Oh, we're gonna fuck this guy up. Reminds me of some, like a guy from Sunset Riders or something. Belger. His name's Belger. Belger. I've beaten this game before, so I want you to get the death blow on this guy. Oh okay. All right. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I want you to be able to say you did it. <laughs> Axel and Slash! <laughs> oh my god, Axel and Slash? There's, see, there's a lot of references to a lot of things, you know? Yeah. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait, what just happened? I killed him. Oh, okay, that's cool. I wasn't looking at that energy bar. That's right. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You know... Now that looks really familiar. I feel like I've seen that ending. So I see what you mean with the Die Hard thing now. Yeah. Or like every other action movie where the the villain falls. It, it, it's been done. Oh, so look at this! Many look times. at this! Oh, what was that about? She. I guess she wanted him. Let's see what it says. I guess only one person gets to kiss the girl. So he was. I guess he was jealous. <laughs> oh, Cody. The Codester. <laughs> the Codemeister. Would you go back and watch Step by Step? <laughs> I never thought about that, but now now you got me thinking. Maybe, 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 I mean, I'm not, I mean, let me put it this way. I'm not going to, like, binge every Step by Step or anything. It would take me, like, months, but I might watch a few of them. <laughs> just to, like, just to get it back in my memory, because I haven't seen anything of that show in a long time. I kind of, like, I forgot about it. I don't think Cody's even on the show in the beginning. I think he comes in, like, a little bit later. You have to, yeah, you have to pick some episodes. You can't, like, um, with a lot of those shows, characters don't come in till later. Are you going to make um, James's top ten step-by-step -step episodes? <laughs> <laughs> well... I know we did top 10 Urkel moments, or yeah. top 20, or whatever it was, sure. but, but I, I feel like we still gotta do, like, on rental reviews at least, um, if not, like, like a like a James review, but do, like, a, a whole Family Matters, um, you know, review of some kind, so maybe sometime later. 
Anyway, this is really cool, uh, going all the way through Final Fight. Um, yeah, good memories. Hello, Mike Hager here. Hee hee hee, Mr. Hager. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I believe you know who I am. Don't hang up.